This is a flight simulator. It was built with our students help in Madrid, Spain and was made in a very easy way without high technology materials. Involving more than 100 students who were inserted in a program of educational quality improvement. Its aim is to help not only in the rehabilitation and adaptation of the students who suffer from backwardness or lack of motivation, but also immigrants with a very poor level of the Spanish language. Our flight simulator or cockpit allows the pilot to take off, land and fly over cities as well as notice the pitch and the bank movement obtained thanks to an electronic pneumatic system of pistons and electrovalves. The aim of our flight simulator is not only flying, but also knowing how to design and develop the incredible manufacturing process with short resources and make it work. We are going to explain how it was built and how it works. The Extractor The extractor is made from steel pipes of 25 mm. It consists of an external square extractor and internal one which holds the seat. The simulator moves thanks to its two axes. A longitudinal and a transversal one which allow left-right movement bank and up and down movement pitch. The fly simulator can turn around thanks to four bearings like this one. In the interior structure, we place a chair with no legs. At the front, we place a monitor where the software flight simulator is played. The front part is decorated with stickers simulating buttons, controls and lights like in a panel of instruments. The pilot moves the plane with a joystick. We place some speakers and a decorative panel. Finally, we closed the cockpit. Pneumatic system. The structure is ready and articulated to be moved by four pistons which work in pairs by means of four electrovalves connected to an air compressor. To make the pistons, we cut PVC pipeline and we place a hollow rod in its interior with a piece of rubber of a diameter slightly superior to that of the pipeline, so as it slides with difficulty. When close, it will make at 4 or 5 kg pressure. The perfect adjustment 
is achieved by fitting three screws on the rubber, making it spans as much as necessary. Two rubber leads are placed in both ends and we press the whole set with four turning rods till it is hermetically closed. The piston gets pressure from two connectors of air entry and air exit in the top and bottom part. Computerized control. But how is the simulator moves? The summary functioning is this. The software Microsoft Fly Simulator contains a few variables that give us the position of the plane left, right, up and down. These variables are captured by the program FSUIPC obtained in the Internet. This position is sent to the control plate by a port series cable and kept in a storage location in digital format L1. Two potentiometers placed in the bearings of the tractor give us a new reading of how the pilot is in the tractor left, right, up and down and this is taken to the control plate and stored in another storage location by cable and transformed from analogic to digital format L2. The chip of the plate compares both readings L1 and L2 and if they are different it tries to equalize them so that the position of the pilot and of the screen are the same. A transistor BD241 placed in the plate for every piston opens the electrovolve that will introduce air in the piston which corresponds to replace the device. This action repeated for every piston makes that the seat move in both direction of pitch and bank. And that's it. Who wants to fly?